सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक इट्स मी रजन शर्मा एंड यू नो गाइज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल शो यू दैट हाउ कैन वी शेयर मल्टीपल इमेजेस इन चैटेड एप्लीकेशन इन साइड ग्रुप ओके गाइज सो यू कैन सी दैट ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट वी हैव दिस एप्लीकेशन एंड आई विल सिंपली ओपन दिस ग्रुप ओके गाइज एंड हेयर आई विल क्लिक ऑन दिस इमेज आइकन देन सिलेक्ट ओके एंड देन इट विल शो द सिंपली एंड हेयर आई विल सिलेक्ट द मल्टीपल इमेजेस ओके एंड देन सिंपली सिलेक्ट एंड नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव थ्री इमेजेस so i will click on next so you can see another then next then another now it will show last image already shown okay so guys this is uh, how you can select multiple images and then i will add a text that uh, banner okay and i will click on the button send and you can see that uh, it is uploaded and uh, now when it is successfully uploaded so here you can see that we have three images okay guys and it is working pretty good So when I will open here, you can see that all the three images are visible here. Okay, so guys, this is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial that how can we share multiple images in group chat. Okay, and now after implementing this functionality, we will focus on that how can you forward image from personal chat to the group chat. That is the reason I have to implement this inside this group chat. Okay, because when you if user is not able to share images inside group, so how you will be able to forward it? Doesn't make sense. That's why. Okay. First of all, we will implement this functionality. Then we will jump on how to forward images from personal chat to group chat. Okay, guys. So without wasting time, let's start. Yes. Yeah. So first of all, guys, you can see that this is our Android Studio, and uh, everything that I have done, I will show you step by step. Okay, I will not show you the exact coding because uh, for time, for saving time. Okay. because i know that you guys don't want to see the complete 1 hour 2 hour long video you guys want to see the logic the how it's done and you want the codes okay so i will show you the codes i will show you the logic i will i, I will also guide you the steps that you need to follow in order to implement this functional functionality completely okay guys so without wasting time let's start so first of all guys what you have to do is very simple first of all you have to create a image or you have to create activity and you know guys that activity name is share image gc so here you can see that i have created a separate activity for sharing multiple images so guys first of all what here you need to do is simply you guys must know that how to create a new activity click on package then new and then from here activity and then simply select basic activity or mpt activity whatever you want okay guys now after that when you will create the activity successfully so you have to open this xml part and here guys we will simply create a layout file where user will be able to select multiple images okay so you can see that first thing that here i have is a linear layout and the linear layout structure is pretty simple and guys the linear layout structure is very simple all you have to do is uh, simply you can see first thing is linear layout and then we have a very basic image switcher here okay guys and uh, then after that again here i am using a linear layout and uh, now you guys can see that here i have added this uh, attribute layout weight one this is a important one make sure you add it okay guys now after that you have to create another linear layout and uh, its orientation will be horizontal and inside it guys we will simply use the edit text for example you are sharing a image an image and you want to add some message with that image for the users to see and understand that this image is about this uh, domain and whatever okay so we are doing that thing here so simply you have to use a edit text you can see the codes on screen it is visible and then you have can see that we have a image button okay and uh, it is just a droppable part you guys uh, must know that how to create a droppable if you have followed this tutorial from the beginning and if you guys are following my tutorials then you know about it okay so very simple steps now after that after implementing this image button you can see its code now here we are closing that linear layout okay now after that again we are creating another linear layout and this time guys again orientation is horizontal and this time guys inside this we will use three buttons first one is for previous which is not visible yet because uh, we make it visible when we select any image okay guys by default it is invisible sorry i mean invisible okay guys so now we are having three buttons so you can see button one for previous middle button for selecting this is visible and the third one is for next image okay so you have to create a linear layout add three buttons inside it and that's all now our coding part is complete for this share image gc okay guys now you have to open the java part which is very simple and uh, before that guys i will request you guys to open the group chat model okay and uh, you have to increase two strings here first one is a string type second one is a string url okay guys 
and it is a very important step because we will need this type and url for storing images and type for storing that it is a text or image file okay now after uh, creating these strings you have to simply create getter and setter the process is very simple select both the strings click on alt plus insert okay and then you have to select this third option getter and setter and then after that you can see that because it is already created that's why this toast message is shown otherwise if i have not created the methods here so i will simply see a method of creating getter and setter so you have to select control plus a and press enter and boom getter and setters will be created automatically by android studio okay guys now after that you have to open the java code of share image gc and here guys uh, uh the course is too much so what basically i'm doing here is you can see that we have created an array list okay for storing the uri of multiple images and then you have to simply declare variable for int position and this variables for image switcher public image one okay so these are some basic uh, integer variables that we need to initialize and declare for uploading multiple images and now here we are having this uh, uri image url okay guys so this complete code you will get and uh, when you will join the membership you will get the complete code okay so some basic functionalities i have shown image switcher integer for picking images and then uri array list uri for storing the multiple uris of images then integer position zero okay guys then image button send button image count c out upload count okay guys and uh, now after that you have to give its reference inside this okay and make sure you initialize this uh, m array uri okay guys and now you can see that here i have given the reference or i have initialized all the model classes that i am using in this tutorial in this feature okay so guys now after that uh, we have to yeah so now here the important part is see so guys uh, now first of all you have to use the document reference for getting the sender name from firestore database because for example it is a group chat okay so whenever any user will send any image or any text so we need to store that user's data in real time database for showing that this message is sent by this following person okay guys so that's what i'm doing here i am simply fetching the data okay guys see i'm simply fetching the data here okay guys document reference add complete listener send a name and you guys may think that where it is uh, coming from so it is coming from here very simple okay document reference and the document reference is coming from here very simple okay guys so this is a complete process of fetching the sender name now when we will successfully fetch the sender's name so now guys you have to simply initialize and give the reference of image switcher that we are using after that you have to write down image view set factory image view image view one now new image view get application context and return image view one okay guys so this is a code you have to write for that image switcher next thing what you have to do is you can see that this is a button we are using next for showing next image when user will select multiple images okay so uh, this is how it will happen so this code is for next image okay now second is for previous button so for previous you have to do this coding okay and now when you will click on the select button so what will happen you we will use intent for selecting multiple images okay and here you can see that we have given the set type image slash star so this is a code you have to implement for select button okay basically these are the three buttons that we have used previous next and select okay guys now when user will click on the send button so before that we need to open this on activity result method so you can see the code is simply visible in front of you okay we are simply doing the validation if request code equals to pick multiple image result code equals result okay null data okay and uh, after this complete uh, thing you can see that how it's done we will simply make the next and previous visible when user will select multiple images okay guys and if data clip dot not equals to null so we are simply taking the data here and then we are simply storing the total number of images that we have picked inside this integer c out variable and then we are using this variable uh, sorry for loop for adding the every particular image url inside that m array okay uri that we have created the array list okay so simply uri image url data dot get data dot get item at position is i get uri and then we are simply storing that image url inside the array list okay and then we are simply setting the first image into the image switcher by default so image view dot set image uri m array uri dot get zero and simply pass zero okay then you have to write the code inside this else part so we will simply 
create a variable again url dot get data muri dot add uri image uri set image uri and simply pass the position so this is a code for showing the image inside image switcher first image by default at the first place and then rest of the image will be loaded when you will click on the next and previous button okay guys now after that and in the rest part you can simply that you haven't picked any image so this was the code for uh, on the activity result i am showing you okay you can pause the video write down the code everything is visible in front of you okay guys so if you guys may think that i don't show the codes i just only try to sell it and make money so you are right i want to make money from it okay but i'm also showing the codes so in case if you don't have money because in some countries the payment and membership is not available of youtube so it's really you know big loss for me and also for those people because even if they want to pay they cannot have the codes but sometimes i share the link because i'm not that bad you know so this is a code in, uh, visible in front of you so guys now after that we will see the codes inside the send button that how exactly it's done so guys when user will click on the send button so we will simply initialize a very basic progress dialog okay and then we have to use a for loop so basically we have created an integer upload count it is by default zero upload count is smaller than m a u i dot size and then upload count plus plus okay so this is the very condition this is declaration this is initialization sorry this is declaration this is condition this is updation okay guys and this is a statement inside this for loop so first thing is we will make the set message sending images and then rest of the code is pretty simple in front of you we will have created a storage reference for firebase database okay firebase storage sorry and in the ending we have given the extension which is jpg png whatever you want you can give and then we have simply passing the multiple image uris one by one so here you can see that selected uri is muri dot get upload count so basically what it will do it will pass the image which is at the position zero and then when it is successfully uploaded then again it will increment so that zero will become one and next time the selected uri will pass the value of first number and then it will pass the value of third number then fourth then fifth then sixth so by doing this it will upload all the images one by one unless this condition goes false okay so now we have created an object of upload task where we will simply use the firebase storage reference and we will put the file of that selected uri okay now this code is pretty simple we use this uh, uh, coding for fetching the data for fetching the url of uploaded image okay i have shown you this code previous times okay i mean in previous tutorials many times so you can see that uh, this is a code okay and then when the image is successfully completed so here we will get the URI okay and then after that this code is pretty simple of storing data inside the real-time database so you can see that everything is in front of you we are simply using a calendar for fetching the current data and time the format is pretty simple in front of you and then we here we are simply fetching the message from text et okay and then we will simply encode it in using our uh, encryption okay so it will be stored in a different way in database so that's why it is encrypted and uh, then guys here you can see the message model that how exactly we are storing data everything is in front of you and this image set type is img so url is image url dot two string okay and then here we are storing the data in two different firebase real time database first one is last model mem so basically it is a model where we store data for showing inside fragment two okay it is a chat window not a chat activity chat window like whatsapp like you are able to see the last message and the group name in when you open the whatsapp and when you click on that option the particular group then you are able to see the messages okay so that first step is this activity so this is how we are storing the data okay and in the last we simply need to make the m progress bar this is this okay guys so this was the complete code that is visible here okay and now you can see everything okay all these brackets are visible all the code of this uh, our activity result everything is visible in front of you okay and if you want the source code if you want the zip file you can simply join the second level first level and if you don't uh, if you're not able to uh, join through credit cards you can simply send money on phone pay google pay upi paypal whatever you have okay so guys this was a complete functionality and now for fetching those images how can we perform it okay it's so very simple first of all you have to open this gm chat okay and uh, here guys we have simply increased a uh, card view so here you can see that we are having this card view and now inside this card view we are only using an image view very basic thing okay nothing is very complicated and uh, you can see the codes of that card view and the structure is very simple there is nothing is complicated very the first layout is linear layout the parent layout is linear layout orientation is vertical then a text view for username another text view for message 
and then third one is card view inside it we have a image view okay and you can see the codes iv item gcr means group chat receiver okay and then center crop scale type and uh, then guys uh, uh, same thing i have done for the center side also so you can see that this is for center side so you guys will not confused and uh, text view then message tv and then again this uh, uh, card view with uh, image view and scale type is center crop okay guys so you can see that this code is pretty simple nothing is very complicated or everything is in front of the screen so you just have to simply write these codes and then for fetching these images you have to open the group chat vh here and first of all open the group chat and you know guys here you have to increase those two string types inside the on create on start okay so basically you know in this group chat model we have increased these two strings so you have to increase those strings here so you can see that after this suid you have to add this line model.get type comma model.get url okay now open this group chat and here guys you need to give the reference for the card view which is cv center cv receiver here you guys can see we have id cv center gc and uh, for this one cv rgc okay so you have to give its reference here inside this okay card view and then image view and the rest of the thing is same okay and then simply give its reference here for the image view and here for the card view okay the image reference is given in front showing in front of you okay and then guys here we are simply doing the validation that for sender side we will uh, do the validation if since sender user id equals to current user id it means that send it is a sender uh, user okay so now we will use a switch statement we will pass type as the parameter and then we will do the validation if it is txt so we will do this code you can see we will make certain attributes gone and some of them will be visible and then we will store the data if it is text okay now we will use break statement and second statement is if it is img so we will do this code is in front of you okay reference declaration everything i have shown you now second part else if the it is the receiver side then we will do this and if it is the uh, image then we will do this okay and we are using picasso for loading images you guys have heard this term if you have if you are watching my tutorials from the very beginning okay of this playlist so this is how you guys can simply implement the functionality of sharing multiple images and fetching those images inside group chat okay so guys if you like this tutorial so please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching okay guys